In this video, I'm going to cover four tool packs you can apply when you're match betting to squeeze out some extra profits from the tool offer. So hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Liam. This is Profit Pineapple. This channel is predominantly about making money online with match betting. And match betting is a really good way of making money. It's a form of arbitrage. You want to learn more about how it works or you want to check out a free trial of Odds Monkey, I've got a link down below in the description. You can get a free trial of Odds Monkey. Or you can watch a 15 minute crash course I've put together over on my website, which will walk you through exactly how it works. But this video is going to cover four little hacks you can apply to the two up offer. Now, if you're new to match betting, there might be some hidden gems contained within this video, which you've never heard about, or maybe you've never thought about before. But if you've been match bet for an extended period of time, maybe over a year, maybe over two years, something like that, you've probably heard, if not a few of them, you know, all of these hacks. They're pretty basic stuff, but they're really cool things you can apply to the two up offer and in most cases, they will help you squeeze out some extra profits from the offer. So what we're going to do, guys, without wasting any more time, is we're going to dive on over to the computer screen and look into hack number one, which is the custom cash out hack. Okay, so this first hack is the custom cash out hack. And this hack is pretty good if you're going for the full turnaround strategy and you actually want to guarantee a small profit if the full turnaround doesn't occur. So what you want to do, if this sounds good to you, is you want to load up this all calculators page on Odds Monkey. And navigate to the early payout calculator which is right here and then you just enter the odds and the stakes and stuff you used with your two up i'm just going to make something up right now once you've done that we're just going to scroll down to the has the bookmaker paid out early box and we're going to select yes just as we normally would when we're doing a two up and then of course that brings up the exchange back odds box we're just going to pop in some back odds here with the exchange and that of course gives you your back stake that you need to use to hedge out and guarantee your profit and as you can see that profit is displayed in the profit breakdown down at the bottom now that's basically the cash out strategy of doing the two up offer now what you can do you can actually come down to the bottom right hand corner here where it says advanced mode turn this tab on so it's turned off currently turn this tab on and what this does this brings up two new boxes it brings up this locking box here and it also brings up this perk backs box here now for this hack, we're not going to bother with this perk box box here. We're just going to leave that box. We're just going to be interested in this lock-in box here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll this down a little bit here so we can see this lock-in box at the top and we can see the profit breakdown down at the bottom. Now watch what happens to the profit in the profit breakdown section as I start to move this lock-in slider to the left. So I'll start to move it to the left now and you can see the profit in the profit breakdown box is changing. So I'm going to put this up to about 50%. So that's at 50% now. Now this top profit breakdown here where it says if the team win. Now this is essentially the team you're back in. They go two goals up and then the game finishes with that team winning the match. So the opposition, what were two goals down, don't manage to pull the game back level. It doesn't finish as a draw and they don't win the match either. Now normally you wouldn't have a profit. You would just simply take your qualifying loss. But using this custom cash out, you can see you would actually lock in a small profit. Now, if the team draw and if the team lose, the two second options would essentially be the full turnaround profit. And you can see that would be £429.63 in this case. Now, you can change the custom cash out and you can change the lock-in by moving this slider left and right. Now, if you move it all the way to the right, this is 100% cash out. This is basically trading out on the exchange and guaranteeing the whole profit. Now, if you move it all the way to the left, that would basically be the full turnaround profit. If you move it to the center, or more or less the center, we'll just leave it about there. You can see you get a small profit if the full turnaround doesn't occur, but obviously if it does occur and you do get the full turnaround, the profit isn't quite as big. So it's really cool to have a play around with, and if you can read football matches pretty well, and you can understand momentum when teams look like they're pressing to score, this can be really handy and really beneficial. We're gonna move on to hack number two now, and hack number two is heavily reliant on the 50 pound in play free bet offer that Bet365 dish out. Now you can use this offer because they're giving away free money essentially, they're giving away a nice little bit of value. You can use this offer to get on a free two up, which is what I choose to do. So I'm gonna explain exactly how you can do this and jump back over to the computer screen right now. So this next hack is reliant on Bet365 dishing out the in play free bet offer. Now, most people get the £50 in play free bet offer. If you're new to match betting and you've not been staking, quite so high, you'll get a smaller amount, maybe 5 maybe 10 maybe £25 in play free bet. Now, what most people do when they first get this offer is they load up the odds matcher on Odds Monkey and they find really short odds with a really nice match. So this one would be a prime example here. 
1.53 back odds, 1.56 lay odds. They go into the calculator, they back their 50 pounds to qualify for the free bet, and they take a really, really small qualifying loss because the back odds and the lay odds are close together, and they're obviously short odds as well. Now, you can do that, and then you can use your free bet in play to guarantee a nice profit. Now, what I choose to do, and people who have been match betting for an extended period of time will also do as well, is they actually choose either the home team or the away team to back with the bookmaker. So what I choose to do is I choose to either get on the home team or the away team, back them with the bookmaker with the £50 to qualify for the free bet, lay them on the bet exchange. Yes, the qualifying loss is larger, but if the team go two goals up, you can actually guarantee a even larger profit. Now, if you do choose to do this, the higher the back odds, the larger the qualifying loss will be because the spread is bigger, or the shorter the back odds with the bookmaker, the lower the qualifying loss will be. If you go for the shorter odds, the, uh, the two-up is more likely to occur, but the profit from the two-up won't be as large if you go for the higher back odds. Two-up is more unlikely to occur, but if it does, you'll get a much larger profit. As you've got a £50 in play free bet, you can use that to extract about 70 or 80% profit. You essentially get on a free two-up. It's worth doing in my opinion, and it's worth doing this over getting on a really tight match at really short odds. Okay, so let's move on to the third hack. Now, the third hack, this hack I would say is probably more going to be more beneficial to you if you've got a decent understanding of the top players in the top divisions, so like the Premier League and the Champions League, maybe the Championship to a certain extent. So this hack, it works by basically reading the team news. So the team news generally in football matches comes out an hour before kickoff. Now the team news comes out and a lot of strong players have been uh, selected for let's say Man City or something like that. And whoever Man City is playing as a, starting a weaker team for whatever reason, you know, obviously the, the price on Man City is going to start coming in. Everyone's going to back it. Price on the betting exchange is going to shorten. The bookmakers all follow the betting exchanges. They're going to do the same thing. So if you're backing with the bookmaker, as soon as the team news comes out, the price comes in, you're going to get an herb. You're going to be able to lay off at a short price on the exchange, get an herb, and obviously take more expected value and take more profit over the long run. So what I'll do to explain this in a little bit more detail is I'll jump back over the computer screen and jump into hack number three. Now this one is reliant on team news. So team news generally, for the most part, comes out about an hour before each football match is uh, scheduled to start. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, this game is scheduled to start on Friday at 8pm. So let's say at about 7 o'clock, the team news comes out for Brentford and Arsenal. Now if Arsenal have a stronger team than Brentford, the back odds on Arsenal will shorten because everybody start, will start to back Arsenal. They have a strong squad. Brentford, let's say, have a bit of a weaker squad. Arsenal to win is obviously going to start to become more likely. More people are going to back it. The back odds are going to shorten. Now, when you're match betting and you're doing the two-up offer, you can take advantage of this. So you, just like everybody else, could be waiting for the team news and it comes out Arsenal's got a really, really strong squad. Brentford have a really weak squad. Not entirely sure why that would happen because it's the first game of the season. Everyone is uh, going to be fit, but let's just say, for whatever reason, Brentford start with a weak squad, Arsenal start with a really strong squad. The odds, the back odds on Arsenal would obviously drop because everyone would start to back Arsenal. Let's say this occurs, you could back Arsenal with Bet365 just as team news comes out, and then as the back odds start to drop on Arsenal, so too will the lay odds because obviously they're touched together, the prices stay together, so exchanges work, the back odds and the lay odds stay next to each other. So let's say everyone starts backing it, the back odds might go to 1.8 and then the lay odds would be 1.81, 1.82, something like that. And of course, if you back the bookmaker at a higher price, the lay odds have gone shorter. This will allow you to take an herb and uh, guarantee more profit just from backing and laying. Now you can see the price moving if you if you prefer to see it more visually by these these lines on the graph here. So you can see the green line is Brentford, the blue line is draw, and the red line is Arsenal. So the team news comes out. Let's say more people start to back Arsenal because they've got a stronger team and Brentford's got a weaker team. This red line would uh, would start to increase because the probability is shown on the right here. Uh, and if it went all the way to the top, it would be a 100% chance. If it went all the way down to the bottom, it would be 0%. So as, as team news comes out, Arsenal's got a strong team. The red line will start to increase here. The volume bars at the bottom, red volume bars would appear, and that would go up. And that's what you'd be looking for if you were back in Arsenal beforehand at a higher price with a bookmaker, and then because you've read the market, you understand how the market's going to work, laying off at a short price on the exchange and taking an herb and guaranteeing more positive EV and more profit right off the bat. Moving on to the final hack, this hack can actually help with your account health or it can arguably prolong your bookmaker accounts that little bit longer. Now this relies on using bookmakers 
to cash out the top offer. So typically, you go to Smirkits or you go to Betfair after the team you backed, gone two goals up, you click trade out and that would hedge you out your, your position on the exchange for a loss. But your profit with the bookmaker would significantly outweigh the loss that you, you took from trading out or cashing out on the betting exchange. But you don't actually need to do this. You can actually use a bookmaker to cash out of, a, of your two-up offer instead of just trading out on a betting exchange. There's upsides and there's downsides to this, which we're going to dive into right now. Okay, so for this last one, cashing out with a bookmaker, like I said earlier, it's probably going to help prolong your accounts that little bit longer if you are cashing out in play with a bookmaker because it looks it's a very mug punter type thing to do you know match betters are renowned for for backing pre-off and uh, all the offers and all the value for a match better is generally for the most part before a match starts so if you come into a bookmaker and back with them it can help prolong your accounts or it's it's likely it will help prolong your accounts for that little bit longer now typically what you would do if you were going for the cash out strategy with the bookmaker is that you know the team would go two goals up with bet365 you'd make sure they they paid you out early and then of course you jump to the betting exchange and then you would just uh, you click trade out and whatever team you backed and then that would give you a loss because you'd backed at a lower price than you'd laid at but of course the profit from the early pay from the bookmaker would be larger than the loss from from trading out on the exchange and what you can do instead of doing this you can actually trade out using a bookmaker now there's upsides and there's downsides to this the upside like i just touched on is match betters aren't really known for backing in play um, it looks like a mug punter thing to do it might help prolong your account the downside is the back odds with the bookmakers are always going to be shorter than the back odds of the betting exchange so let's say obviously we've got 108 from the earlier example let's say this is like uh, 106 with a bookmaker you can see the, the differential in profit so 106 with a bookmaker 108 with the exchange you can see you're going to lose a little bit of profit because the bookmakers odds are, are, um, are shorter that's all because of their margins and how they make profit and stuff like that they give shorter odds and it doesn't represent value but if you are willing to look past this downside and you want to cash out with a bookmaker in play you could do that really simply so to cash out using a bookmaker instead of trading out on the exchange what you would do is you would just find the back odds uh, on the selection that you'd laid with the bookmaker so 106 on whatever team it was then you would back using this stake here 754 pound 72 at 106 and then that would hedge out your profit like that you wouldn't have to do anything on the exchange because you'd obviously hedged out with a bookmaker and it would all just even out after the game had actually finished now another downside to this would obviously be you'd need a heck of a lot of money in, uh, in your bookmaker account as well because you couldn't combine the liability with a bookmaker you can only combine liability with a betting exchange but it's really good if you're looking to prolong your accounts that little bit longer and make yourself look a little bit more like a mug punter so yeah those are the four little hacks you can apply to the two up offer ultimately you don't really need them the offer's more than positive in expected value over the long run and you'll make loads of money anyway from it but if you do want to apply a little bit more flavor on top of the offer and keep it interesting uh, you could just use those hacks, which I've mentioned in this video. Um, cheers for watching, guys. If you want to see more content from me, I'll leave two videos what will come up on screen right now. Feel free to watch them. Cheers for watching this video, and I'll see you soon in the next video.